welcome Milford students and families to the 2021-2022 school year. Um, je m'appelle Madame Pitonger. Je suis professeur de français. Um, you will have me for French 3, unless you have uh, Mademoiselle Racella. Um, I also teach French 4 and AP. I'm excited to start the year. Um, that said, I will have um, a French teacher joining us who graduated from Milford High School. Um, she will be teaching about two days a week. And that's because my mom is receiving chemo treatments and all of the infusions that go along with um, keeping up electrolyte levels and things after an infusion of chemotherapy. So um, you might not see me every day, but um, you will have a certified French teacher in the room um, teaching you at all times. Um, that's also why I will be wearing a mask this year because of um, taking my mom to chemo and being in the Cancer Institute. Um, I don't want to take anything to any of the people receiving treatments. And um, throughout the year, at any time, you are welcome to ask questions about um, what's going to be next on the syllabus, what the assessments are going to be for this unit. I start every unit with an explanation of what skills are going to be evaluated on the final assessment, whether the final assessment is an IPA or a project with a presentation or a project that you submit to me as slides and I'm the only one that sees it so that you know exactly what you're expected to do at the end. And we revisit that several times throughout that unit so that you remember what you're responsible for showing me, what you have to do to be able to get an A, what you have to be able to do to get a B. Um, for example, because I want you to know and be able to plan so that when we're studying something and working on it in class, you are aware of how it impacts like your French proficiency and um, the grade that you will have at the end of the quarter. Um, the quiz format is going to be the same as it has in previous years. So like when we're doing a vocabulary activity or something else, um, we're prepping for all of the vocabulary that we've come into contact with on Quizlet. So um, like maybe on Quizlet, for example, you would have like 20, say, say there are like 22 words on your vocabulary list on Quizlet. Um, then the vocabulary quiz that I give you has all 22 words, but you only have to choose, it, if there are 22, it's usually like 16 points worth of vocabulary. So, um, you know, if there was something that you're like able to use it in class, but when you get to the quiz, you're not really sure what the word means or like how to represent it because some of the things are drawing, um, then you can just omit that one and do any 16 points worth of vocabulary. Um, the other quiz format I do is, it's called 555. Um, I give you a, just a bank of all of the words and then you choose five to define, five to use in sentences and five to illustrate to show me that you know how to use them, you know what they're, um, what form of word they are, whether it's a verb or a noun or an adjective, et cetera. Um, my expectations for class are that you come with your Chromebook charged. You can charge it in class usually, but if everybody needs to charge it, there aren't enough outlets for everyone to charge it once. Um, that you listen with the intent to understand, you participate fully to the best of your ability um, and stay off of phones because phones are incredibly fascinating and distracting because they know what we like and they're very good at showing us interesting things. So um, nobody so far is learning French in the United States by, you know, looking at Snapchat, unfortunately. Um, so if you would like to get into contact with me, you can call me at my, like my desk phone number is 576-2335. If you call during class, it'll ring, but I won't answer, it'll go to voicemail. Um, the best times to reach me are probably during first or second period. Nope, first period won't work. Yes, it's first period, but second period I'm in study hall. So. Um, during first period or before or after school, I might actually be able to answer the phone. Otherwise, it will go to voicemail and I'll return your call later. Um, if it's a day when I'm not in school um, because I'm at the Cancer Institute, it's possible that it'll take um, until the next day that I'm at school for me to check my email, which is where my voicemails go. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm excited to have you. Please feel free to call or email. My email is the standard Pittenger underscore S at milfordschools.org. Pittenger, P-I-T-T-E-N-G-E-R. Um, and I look forward to getting to know you this year.